here for this week's video. We're going to go over swimming must-haves. So if you are a swimmer or even just an athlete in general, I think these are pretty good must-haves to have in your bag or your backpack or duffel bag or anything that you carry your stuff in. Um, this is a good this is a good video for you. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's go. So this is my swim backpack and I got this backpack last year, which was my first year of swimming, and I got it from swimoutlet.com, which has a lot of great like discounted uh, discounted prices on um, certain items. And this is obviously Speedo, and it is the Teamster 25 liter backpack uh, in like the pink camo. And I really like this backpack. I am sure other backpacks have this too, but in the back you can unzip the back part. And it has extra padding for your back, but then at the same time you can pull out um, this thingy and you can sit on it during meets, <laughs> which is, I have found to be very nice because the the benches are really hard and it, it's uncomfortable to sit on. But um, yeah, that's coming really handy. So this is definitely a must have for any swimmer out there. Another must have for a swimmer is um, the Ultra Swim Ultra Repair Conditioner and Shampoo, which is for dry and damaged like chlorine exposed hair, which if you are a swimmer, you are in chlorine water all the time. Every day you are in chlorine. Or if you're like an open, like a swimmer, like you do this out in the ocean, which that would be really cool. Um, I wouldn't be able to do it, but kudos to the people who do. Um, then you wouldn't probably need it, but I swim in a pool with lots of chlorine. Um, so I have really loved using the Ultra Swim. And I've used it, I didn't, I didn't use it a lot last year, but I did use it some because I had just gotten a little bit from some friends who had tried it and they really liked it and I really like it and so I think it works really great. I couldn't find the shampoo um, but I do use the conditioner. Another must have for a summer is a phone charger. I cannot express to you how many times I have used my phone charger because if you're at a meet your phone dies or people like to take the outlets. Um, like really fast so if you're gonna get an outlet you got to get there really early and I'm not a morning person so we never get there early enough and so I just carry a pocket juice or um, there's I think I have like three phone chargers that I use um, and since I was a swim manager last year which fun fact this year I'm actually swimming and I'm so excited I won't be the team manager I will actually be swimming um, but back to the phone charger. Uh, I would give them out to my teammates when they'd be like, Sierra, do you have a phone charger because we need one because our phones are dead. So I would just hand them out and I always carry extra cables, like extra charging cables um, because let's just face it, not everybody brings their own cables with them, which kind of makes it sound weird, but they don't. So I always carry them with me. Another huge must have, especially if you're a club swimmer, um, my club, you have to have black, just like a basic black swimsuit. Um, this one, it's too big for me now, but I think it, well, I cut off the tag, so I think it was like a 34. Um, but yeah, just having a basic black swimsuit is a must in my club. Um, but it's also just nice to have in general, just because sometimes you just need an extra swimsuit or an extra swimsuit to hand out, which sounds weird to people who don't understand. But being a high school swimmer, you would not believe how many times people are like, I forgot my swimsuit. So it comes in handy. You know that feeling whenever you're at the, at the school and you're about to swim and all of a sudden your contact decides to act up and maybe even possibly come out? Yeah, those are the most annoying moments ever. And uh, last year I never did this, but uh, I'm doing it next, the, like this coming year because I, I didn't do it last year. Um, I am keeping a small bag with me. Um, I got this one from Walmart. I think this was like a dollar or something, it's a pouch. And then inside of it I have, um, I have band-aids and I have like antibiotic ointment because you cut your hand on the lane lines or you stub your toes on the wall and you bleed. And let's just face it, how many of us honestly pee in the pool? You never know. Um, but coming back to the contacts, I am carrying a small little tiny bottle of um, Pure Moist by OptiFree. It's a contact solution and it also came with a case. So keeping the case there with me um, just because you get those moments when it's just like, oh, I wish I had my contacts, my contact case and my contact solution with me. Um, another thing that I am carrying with me this year is a toothbrush. 
and toothpaste because on Tuesdays I will be going straight from swimming to the fire department um, and I don't really like it's, it would just be nice to have clean teeth so um, I have the Crest 3D white little travel size and if you're wondering where I got the contact solution I got it from the travel size section for travel yeah, travel area. On that same note, I like to carry makeup remover wipes with me just because, you know, if you are at school, all the girls wear makeup to school. Well, not all, but a lot of them do wear makeup to school. And so if you're going to get in the water, you kind of want to take it off because otherwise you're going to look really scary. Um, and so I got these ones from Walmart and they are by Pure and Gentle. And they even remove like, like, yeah, long wearing and waterproof mascara, which is crazy, and they are only 97 cents. So I was very happy when I found these. Um, there are 30 wipes, but for 97 cents, I think that's that's pretty good. And they're small enough that you can fit inside your backpack without it taking up a huge like space. Let's be honest, any swimmer has a lot of caps. Now, if you don't know what a cap is, this is what a cap is. It is, it, and it doesn't keep your hair dry either. It just keeps it out of your way hair or out of your face um, but this one is a silicone one and it's by dolphin really um, and it's really annoying to get on and off but you wear them and we have a lot and by a lot and I don't even have a lot compared to a lot of other girls I know but I have one two this one I got from another team because they were trading caps I was like I want one seven and three of four of them are from like are from my team, but uh, two of them, two of them, two of them have my name on them, and then this one is like the team cap that you're supposed to wear to meet. Another huge necessity are goggles. Now goggles are a lifesaver for any swimmer, but they are the best procrastination device ever, hands down. It's, it works, you know, because they fog up and you have to clean them, and even if you're not lying about it or you are goggles fog up like there's no tomorrow and there is no that no, there's nothing that works to keep them anti-fog no matter how many products you try because I've tried a lot they still fog up and it's crazy because not all people understand that goggles like you can't just spit in them to keep them clean like, it doesn't work um, but yeah this is probably hands down the number one must-have for a swimmer along with a swimsuit. Two items I will never be caught dead without in my swim bag are a pair of headphones and these are just the Apple ones that come with your phone. Um, especially at meets, you can just put them in and um, you can listen to music and kind of get into your, your zone before you race. And the other one is hand sanitizer because a lot of us get sick throughout the entire season and that's just because we touch everything that everybody else touches too and we have a club that also swims there so it's like extra dirty all the time lots of germs go around and you know if you swim in the water if you accidentally swallow water well you're probably screwed you're gonna get sick within the next 48 to 72 hours but to keep my hands clean because if I'm putting in and taking out contacts or anything like that um, I like to use the Germex hand not moisturizer hand sanitizer that's the word I'm looking for this one's kind of optional because I didn't I didn't have to buy them, but I wanted to. Um, our school provides the buoys, like the, the foam, styrofoam blocks that you put between your legs and don't kick with. Um, those, and then they also provide fins, but we had, or flippers, depending on how you say it. Um, we had the option of buying our own, and so these ones cost about $25, and these are the TYR yellow. I don't know what they are because my coach bought them for us um, obviously we paid them but we like I don't know and this is a size 5 to 7 so I have a size 9 foot and these are a little bit small on me I had to switch with the girl because she had the wrong size I thought I had the wrong size too because they were really really loose um, but I like my flippers or fins snug on my feet so they're not gonna go anywhere and so this is what they look like I feel like I look like a penguin when I'm in these because they have the yellow feet. The last two items that I think are necessary for swimmers or even just for athletes in general. This could be kind of used for athletes. Um, obviously the fins aren't good for runners. That'd be kind of weird to watch. Um, but the last two items are number one, Tums. And this has probably saved me more times than I can count just because 
with the nerves, it, it helps if I chew something. So if I just take a tablet and just chew it, these ones are the Chewy Bites. And there's 32 of them in this little case. Um, but I really like them. I like them better than like the tablets because the tablets are just really dry and chalky. Um, but then you also have the chewy ones. And the chewy ones work really well too. The last item is deodorant. Now this one is the Dove Advanced Care Cool Essentials 48 Hours. Um, I got this one also from the trial size. And it's nice because it's small enough that you can just keep in like your backpack. Um, especially if you do dry land after swimming and then you have to go somewhere. It's just nice because then you're not going to be like a smelly. Although you do smell like chlorine all the time. Maybe carry a perfume with you if you want to smell nice. I've just kind of given up, but I do wear deodorant after swimming, especially if I'm going somewhere. All right, you guys, that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If I missed anything on what is important for any athlete, then go ahead and comment that down below, and I'll be sure to go ahead and read all of your comments. And I hope you guys have a great week, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.